All right, hello everybody, this is Wake Warrior 0724, and I would like to welcome back all my Wake Warriors. Uh, we are going to be playing an old PS2 game, which I have beat. Uh, so I'm going to be starting a new game for all of you. And I hope you all enjoy it. Hmm, should I do hardcore mode, or do I do... <laughs> Uh, let's do normal for now, so you all know what to do. Ooh. There's Ty, the protagonist. What's he running from? Ty hasn't said a single word. Whoa! Is Don't be afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. Get I might. It's time you knew the truth. Huh. Years ago. A great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. Oh, of course there was. And of course there's both giant robots. Hey! My dinosaur ancestors were here first, you stinking furry mammal opportunists! Remember the comet! What the? No! You mammals don't deserve to be at the top of the food chain! What? No! Okay, boomerangs do not have that power. <gasps> Challenge Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. Of he must he be is. stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. It's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you? Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when you showed up. Rude! Sounds like you've got a fair deacon adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what, you do the adventuring and I'll <laughs> help you out where I can. Ah, uh, of course he's a lazy bird. Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. 
I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. OK, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're going to be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I'll meet you there. OK, Bly Bly Station. Which is literally straight ahead. Okay. That's aim. Jump. Okay, so that's throw. Okay, so you throw... You need two buttons in this game. Or in this section. Huh. G'day, Julius. Now, Sorry about that. if I just reroute these wires to... I said g'day, mate. I is deaf. Oh, goodness graces me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last-minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot, <laughs> what's this contraption do? <laughs> this contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why oh, really? is this so? It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Say what? Huh? Mm, like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Just said that. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Huh. Struck me lucky. That's and that, my friends, good. requires a great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Eh, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't huh. just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But right. I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Yeah, right, Ty, there's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. Which just so happens to be the first area we're going. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. Oh! That had to hurt. Listen, mate, I solved your problem. I found you a second boomerang. That's oh, great. Where is it? Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. <laughs> right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. Oh, great. Oh, don't worry. You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and bite your way there while avoiding Boss Cass's henchmen. Look, oh, mate, boy, I'm gonna take him out. It's meant to be easy. Alright. Little words, boys. Take all of these up. And there's our first thunder egg. Beauty! Butler! Bonza! I got one! Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> 
Okay, what counts to you percentage is not the concept art, but all of this. Besides the uh, little picture frames right there. Those shells, the cogs, the opals, and the thunder eggs, as well as those trapped little billies, are what uh, count towards your completion rate. The picture frames, not so much. They're they're pretty much worthless. I reckon those dummies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Oh. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. Huh. So you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. Hmm. Yes, for the now. Alright, when you like this, X is the way you throw your boomerang. Truth time! You've got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? It's choppers. Bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Ty. Move on. Have a go at those crates. All right. Let's get these. And yes, he does have a great set of choppers. Now, I was speaking to a bloke down the local watering hole, and he reckons you can use your rangs to take care of enemies and smash things. Shoo ripper! Huh. He said something now, wait a minute. He said something about pressing the throw button to use them. Like I said, these are the way to get your completion rate up. Now that one, you you can't get unless you have the uh, second boomerang, so it's pretty much worthless to... Whoa! It's pretty much worthless to even try and get it. Oh no, not more cages. And there's Struth. our friend from earlier. What happened here? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh yeah? Well, big mistake. No one messes with my mates. Now there's a thunder egg in each area if you free them. No worries. Unless like you're said, Boss to, Cass. Like I said, these are to your computer. You youngins, have it easy these days. If you want to get a better look at your surroundings, just wiggle your camera stick. And you can adjust the camera distance by pressing the camera distance button. In my day, we had to get off our backsides if we wanted <laughs> to see the world. Yeah, well that's because you're an old Colby. <laughs> I don't know if it's true, but I heard about this bloke who found 300 opals, then took them to Julius's opal machine. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. <laughs> Righto. And that's why you need to collect all 300 of these. So we're going to complete this area today and uh, stop here. Whoa. Ah, oh, great. Holy ruse.
When I was a lad, there was this kid, Toothy Malone, I think his name was, there, who could bite his way through a dozen pies in less than a minute. These aren't pies, mate, but I reckon you could chomp the lot by pressing the bite button quickly. Try biting them quickly to reach that thunder egg. I thought I turned off the background music. Okay, so that means that the Billy's over on this side, which means we just go this way. Okay, so Frills, you need a boomerang to get you by. There's another bit dunny. And there it is. That's Mama. Okay, now that we've got a hundred, or over a hundred, I can tell you what that little glowing thing is. It is the super bite. So you can literally launch yourself by holding the bite button down. Ah, uh, I can't get him yet. Hmm, yes, yes. This just might do. G'day, Julius. Oh, hello, Ty. You, you know this golden and cog the, just might be perfect for my latest invention. Was talking about. The Cogulaceous Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Right, what's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental yeah, yeah, techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. Basically, You're on, each mate. area can make two boomerangs if you find every golden cog. Almost done. Okay. Now we can't get to that area yet until we get the second boomerang. So we're just gonna skip it for now. There's another one of our Billy's, the little sister one. Julius told me to tell you this, but I have no idea what it means. Of course you Apparently, don't. Apparently, according to Julius, you can lock your camera on to enemies at any time by pressing and holding the lock on button. Huh, useful information. <laughs> Okay, so that's how you take care of it. Are you? Throw. Click, click, click. Jump. Alright, we got half. We got a third of the golden cogs we need. Which is half in this area. Up. Up. And away! Okay, everybody, Ty cannot swim at this point in the game, so I'm going to see if I can try something. 
Hey, it worked! I didn't think that would work. Holy crap. Basically, if Ty falls in any deep water, get him out quick right now. If that's what I was trying to say earlier. So, uh, be very careful. Oh, and you won't have to worry about it. And there's our second boomerang. Yay! Oh, they make it sound like it's Excalibur. Okay, well, that's um. I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it with my own eyes. <laughs> you actually found the second boomerang. Well, huh. there's no time to sit around and feel all pleased with yourself. You're gonna have to put that new ring to use. You see, I had a thunder egg I was gonna give you, but a bunch of frills stole it. You'll have to take them all on to get it back. Uh, so two rings are better than one? Let's... Okay, there's a gold... There's a... Oh! That's a life up egg. Yeah, you don't want to go in the water with that thing. Whoa, how'd I do that? Always keep moving. There we go. Seven frills down. Okay, do you all remember that one area that we couldn't get into uh, a little earlier? Well, it looks like today wasn't a complete waste of time. <laughs> You seem to have learned a thing or two. Oh, yeah, you're too right. Uh, you know, there's one other thing I could show you, but uh, I don't know if you're ready for it yet. Yeah? Well, what's that? Well, a mate of mine who knows a mate who knows a mate who knows another mate says you can use two boomerangs to glide long distances. Yeah, we just did How? that. It's simple, really. You jump, then press and hold jump again to start gliding. Right. Is that safe? Safe as ours is, mate. See if you can glide across this gap to reach that thunder egg. Yes, we hear you, Billy. <laughs> you ripper! Sweet. Ah, look at that. Me mate's mate, mate, mate was telling the truth after all. <laughs> Just okay, as we're well, in I didn't call so for an ambulance. <laughs> well, lad, you made it through with flying colours. And as a little extra bonus, a stopwatch will appear near the start. Okay, so we gotta okay. do that. What's that for? The racetrack. You can race the clock to win another thunder egg. Right. I'll give that a go later. <laughs> well, that's enough gas bagging from me. Let's head back to the Bly Bly station. Mm, I don't think so, just yet. Alrighty. So... Yeah, no. See these funny-looking mushrooms? A bloke down at the local watering hole reckons that if you stand in the middle of them, something weird will happen. Huh. Well, let's find out. And it takes us to the stopwatch. So Welcome to the track. Race to the finish as fast as you can, mate. The checkpoints will lead the way. But miss one and the race is over. <laughs> Good yep. luck. One, two, 
two. Just basically run through all these. Now this is just the uh, tutelary section, so we're just gonna keep running through and running through and beat the time. That was a ripper of a race, Ty. You're faster than a long-legged emu with a case of the belly aches. <laughs> case of the belly aches. I reckon you've earned this. Oh, you beauty! Wow, that sounds... <laughs> All right, so we still have to find two of the bilbies. Huh. Normally you find them at the, at the spots where... Oh, boy. Okay, so that last one at the very end is Julius's um, thingamajigger. So... We're gonna put 300 opals, find the five bilbies, super chomp, lower the platforms is that last one. So we're gonna find the bilbies now. We're gonna go back through and see where I missed. Also, we're going to try and get this. Rat! Whoa, whoa! Ah! You gotta be kidding me. How do I get that? Wow! I don't know what it did, but it worked! Alright, let's go get the last two of those things. Okay, so... not there. Hello! Where is he? Where is he? Oh, hey, we missed this. Ah, yeah. I couldn't get him before. Oh, you tell me I could? That's bullcrap. Well, that just leaves the granny, and we all know where she is. In that one area where we could not get to. So, let's go there now. Jump, slide, jump, slide. Do not fall in the water. Because Ty cannot swim. Second to last golden cock. One more to go. There it is. Alright, let's end all these little frills. Alright, that solves that problem. Ooh, don't fall in the water, don't fall in the water. Ty will drown, Ty will drown. Oh. All right, we got all the golden cogs. Now we just got to get all the buildies. Where is she? Where's the granny bilby?
Huh. Been a while since I've, uh... Done this, all made. Wasn't a half bad effort, Ty. I reckon with a little more practice, you'll get there. Cool. Okay, I hear her. There she is. And that's all five billies. Or billies. All right, now what does this do? Whoa! Ability, I'm sure, but we lose a giant eight thing. Huh. Oh well. Time to go get our last thunder egg. And that's pretty much everything in this area that we can get. So that already gives us a 10% completion rate. Um, what counts towards the completion rate is everything on the sides. The pictures at the bottom do not rate on it. So uh, we'll go back here and get through this. Oh, I found it. I found it! Let oh, me that's see just that. wrong. Or At ironic. Last, a mystic talisman. It's time to move out. We got four more talismans to find. You there, fetch my bags! <laughs> ironic that he found the talisman. I will be mine. 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 Oh, great. Of course, the typical evil villain of mine, mine, mine. <sighs> All right, well, we're going to save here, and I'll see you next time.